And once again, <laughs> you make it look easy. I mean, you certainly don't look like you got in a fight, but when you were fighting, it just looked like everything was going according to plan. Is that how it felt? Look, I had seven days to get ready for one of the most awkward opponents in the division. I went out there and I surgically just destroyed him in every aspect. When he tried to clinch, I took my time. I had patience when we strike. I didn't need to show off too many skills. I knew patience and output and just constant movement would just suffocate him. Today was about showing just how elite I am against that a guy who's had the most octagon time in the welterweight history. He's had 31 fights at welterweight. He's been ranked since before I was an amateur. And I went out and I made him look like he's never fought before. Did you expect his reaction to the kicks to be the way it was? Yes. I my, look, I will say this now. My calf kicks are the best in the game. And I didn't even try to hurt him with them. I just kept hitting the same spot. And I didn't rush it. I didn't need to rush a finish because he's the type of guy, you try to go in and finish him, and he clinches you and he makes it a dirty fight. He lands a knee, he lands an elbow. Why would I need to? Kick him, stand back up, let's go. Kick him, stand back up. You just you continue to show this versatile attack and so many things in your arsenal. I'm curious how... And the, I do it with ease. Truly. How did the time traveling and hitting these different gyms and these different disciplines, different coaches, different training partners, how did that impact who you were inside the Octagon tonight? It makes me, it makes me see just how elite I am when I'm traveling the world, training with such amazing people, such amazing coaches. And like the first thing my wife says to me, she's like, Diego Lima's already sent me like 12 voice notes. She's like, he was like, Mario Vittori, Laila, come as a father. What did he say? Diego. Linda Vittoria, like a beautiful victory. It's like straight away, instant. And it's like, it's energy. I, I travel the world and I, 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 I soak the energy of all the people that I'm training with. And it's only good vibes because when you, when you travel the world and you meet new people, everyone's excited. And it's that excited energy that I want to travel into a camp with and travel into a fight with and go, right, we're here to take over. I said it from day one. I'm here to take over. I'm 13 and I was a professional. I'm now ranked top, uh, like top 10 in the world. I don't know where it's going to be, but I don't care. I've got a number 10 or less beside my name, and I'm 25 years of age. And you just continue to do what you say you're going I'm to a, do? I had a fight. Look how good I look. No, you look great. Ridiculous. I mean, you look better than me, and it's my job to be on TV. So good job, Ian stop, Gary. Stop. I heard that you mentioned Stephen Wonderboy Thompson uh -huh. to uh, UFC President Dana White. Yes, Why is that the opponent you want next, and what does that look like in your mind? So... Wonderboy, firstly, the reason I call out Wonderboy isn't for any malice. It is because he is considered one of the greatest strikers in the UFC history, in the world. I mean, he's a 57 and 0 as a professional kickboxer, and he is widely regarded as one of the most talented strikers we've seen in this sport. I consider myself of that level. And to go out there and compete against him and his stature, and to go out there and beat him, you take the reins. You, you are absolutely the greatest striker the welterweight division has ever seen when you beat that guy. And then it's just onwards and upwards from there. Then the top is full of grapplers, full of wrestlers. I'm going back to Brazil. I'm getting ready for every single one of them. And when they shoot, you best be ready. I'm ready to jump on something. Listen, we're ready for all of it. Certainly interested to see if they make the matchup with Wonderboy and when that might be. Also, you mentioned Brazil. I have to acknowledge you, your new bio says, uh, by way of Belo Horizonte, Brazil. So we have to make sure that we give that a shout out. We saw that on your, that change on your bio. Ian, you bring the great vibes. You talk about the great vibes that you have into camp. You bring them to us. We appreciate it. Congratulations. Enjoy that beautiful family of Thank yours. You so and I'm much. sure we'll see you very soon. You will. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.